I mean? And I, I have been in the silence, you know what I mean? And it's been showing all over me, I feel now, because it's like, man, the last few weeks, I've been having certain type of dreams, okay? The last few weeks, man, I had a dream of fire. I've been having dreams of flooding. I had a dream of an avalanche. Um, I've been having some crazy-ass motherfucking dreams, and in every motherfucking dream, it's like I've been trying to save masses of people. You know, I'm bringing them to safety, you know. And whatever whatever the phenomenon was, be it was the avalanche or the flooding or whatever, it never really come into fruition. It, 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 there's a calming over the land after I get all these people safe, and then it just somehow there's a calming and it just goes away. But up until, up until such a time of that calming, it's like a full-fledged movie. Like, I mean, shit blowing up and this and this happening and just loss of life and just all these things just happening. And I'm just, I have women and children that I'm just trying to bring to safety, you know. In all of these reoccurring dreams, I'm bringing women and children to safety. And, you know, and I'm helping out so many different people and men as well. And I'm just helping them, hands, giving them a hand up to help them get out. And let's get to this, this, this calming land. And after I move all these people, then it's just a calming. On every one of these fucking dreams, it's a trip. And I'll wake up and I'm like, wow. And I've had this for the past, I don't know, the past couple of weeks. I've been having these crazy ass dreams. I don't know. So, I don't know if the, all of this shit is retrograde and then it turn around and and twist it on the tragedy that happened. Um, it's, it's just been an emotional time. You understand what I'm saying? You know, and I've, I've, I've been feeling a lot of loss. A lot of people have lost lives in my, in my personal life um, that I've had spiritual connections to. Or motherfuckers that's just been in my path in some way, shape, or form. They have just been dying off and having different things happening and going on. And I'm just like, wow. I'm just tripping out. I'm just truly just tripping out, man. I don't even know what to call this shit. I don't even know what to call this shit. Y'all motherfuckers keep me in y'all prayers, man. Because... When I seen this shit, I was like, oh my God, this motherfucking shit could have been me. And I'd be damned if not the fuck right after that, it was another woman shot off the uh, 10 freeway. Okay? And apparently it's uh, starting to come out now that uh, she was trying to leave from some motherfucking body too. And this motherfucker apparently was chasing her in her car. She pulled over on the freeway because apparently they was also on the phone or whatever. It's starting to all come out. That he told her to pull over, and when she pulled over, and he got out of his car, and I guess came up to the window to come talk to her, that motherfucker just shot her ass. So, it's like some crazy shit been going on, family. I don't know. This motherfucker's been really just been tripping and shit, and, and motherfuckers that's been going through shit, and I'm like, wow, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the hell? And this shit has been truly just been having me in a different type of headspace. You know what I mean? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This shit is getting too close to me. What the hell? You know, this shit has been having me nervous. Like, on some real shit. Like, what the hell? Man, I done smudged all around my motherfucking property and compound. All around my car. Nigga, I've been like, what the fuck is going on? What is spirit trying to tell me? What is God trying to tell me? What am I getting prepared for? I'm really trying to know this right now. What am I getting What am I getting prepared for? Because all these crazy ass dreams and people is just leaving and all kinds of stuff is going on, going on and shit is moving around in my life. I'm getting closer to people and moving away from others and just all kinds of shit is going on in my life. And I'm just looking at all this other shit that could have been me. In so many instances, I have, uh, I'm looking at so many things that are going on that I'm watching right now in the lives around me. Okay. And I'm like, uh, in a lot of these instances, I'm like, that could have been me. 
That could have been me. That could have been me. Goddamn, that could have been me. 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 And it's like, damn. It's almost like some footprints. You know what I mean? I've been carried a long way. And it's like, wow, all of that shit right there could have been me. And I'm watching all of this shit that's going on all around my ass. Y'all don't even understand. Whoa. It's like I'm in the motherfucking, what, in the eye of a twister. For real. And I'm watching all of this shit circling around my motherfucking ass. And I'm being unscathed. You know what I mean? It's like I'm standing in the eye of this twister that's going all... I know I'm fucking up the video or whatever, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm, you know, sh shedding some light to somebody. So if it's taking it to a different turn or whatever, so be it. Fuck it. We're going to put it up. Somebody going to dissect it and tell me what all this means. Whatever I need it. Danielle, please, hook your auntie up. Tell me what the fuck all this means, please. If any of y'all got third eye, clairvoyance, whatever... Let me know what all this shit mean. It's like I'm standing in the center of this cyclone. And all of this shit is going around me. And it's like I'm watching all of these scenarios and situations and bad vibes and energy and happiness and love and lust. And just eroticism and just all kinds of shit is just circling my ass. And I'm just, I'm unscathed. It's like I'm standing in one spot and all this shit is just circling my ass. And then, you know, different faces, different scenarios, what different people are going through and all this different shit. And it's like, man. And I'm like, it's making me dial myself down a lot. It's like, it's making me dial myself down. Like, you know what? I don't really want uh, the... Uh, and I know some people's probably going to die saying, oh, she's bullshit. But what's on my spirit to say is, I don't want to be the this when all of my people around me are like going through these type of things or going through all these hurts and they're going through all these things. And it's like, I'm taking on you guys' energy. And in my personal life, I'm going through some things too, but I'm taking the energy of all of my nearest and dearest around me and all these different scenarios and I'm taking on you guys' things and I'm trying to help everybody get through their stuff. Everybody going, you know, going through all these different things. Health situations. You know, some of y'all going through y'all financial situations. Some of y'all going through these situations and mental this and that and that and this, this and this and health crisis over here and loss of parents over here and this and this and this and this. And then this one over here going through an abusive situation. And it's like, man, it's like I'm carrying the energy of all of you guys' things plus my own. And it's like I got all this shit on my motherfucking back. I remember... I had posted a picture that was circulating around Facebook and Instagram a couple years ago. And it was this black woman. And she had all this stuff in this bag. And she was carrying it. And it was saying so many different things. Pain, fatigue, this, this, this. All these different things that she had in her in her bag. And she had it all bagged up. And all you seen was her back. And like she was walking Away from all that shit. Like, she had all this shit. I don't know if she was going to throw this shit in the river, throw it in a dumpster, burn it up. I don't know what the fuck she was doing. But she had all this shit in this bag, and she was carrying it on her motherfucking back, and she was walking away. Okay? So, I don't know what the fuck that was. But, you guys that got a little third eye, uh, get down. Um, burn some incense and shit and, uh, and, and smoke on some shit or whatever you need to do and let auntie know what the shit's going on. Maybe it could be retrograde. I don't know. I know it is that time right now. I think it's around what the 14, 15. So I know we are going through that right now, but I don't know what the fuck, but it's like, I'm watching so many people going through so many different things. It's like, uh, this and this. I know that probably uh, sound crazy or probably look crazy. Like, why is she going here and then backing up? And it, because that's the way it is. It's like I'm, 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 I'm seeing some people rejoicing and having the time of their lives seemingly. Then I'm seeing this person pull back, going through strife, emotional turmoil, um, separation, divorce, and this, this, this. But then I got this one over here 
the life of the, you know, they living the life of Riley the way it seemed. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, shaking and doing this and this and this, looking good and this and this and this. But then I got this one pulled back here that's going through a relationship restraint and this and this and this and going through all of this. And then go up here. Then I got this one over here. She done lost all her weight. She's looking so gorgeous and so beautiful and celebration and all this. But then I got this one right here going through a divorce. You know, they're trying to put out the the estranged husband trying to put out sex tapes and motherfucker, you was fucking with the nanny and all this. You've been doing the most. Then I got this one over here. Man, I got scenarios going like this. Swirling around my motherfucking ass right now. And it's like I'm taking on all this motherfucking energy. And I'm sorry if I'm saying too much. Because I know that I probably am. But. I've been. I'm burnt out. I can't take it no more, man. I can't take it. <laughs> I'm trying to be of strength for everybody. And trying to help talk y'all through. And all that kind of shit like that there. But goddamn, who the fuck do I talk to? If, if, if everybody calling me with their problems, and this is what happens. I'm sorry. I know, you know, North Park, I'm so sorry. You know, it's family. That's my, me, family. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry. My condolences to everybody involved. I'm just so sorry. But if I am for strength for everybody around me, then who in the hell is the strength for me? That is when I ask of y'all to keep you, keep me in y'all prayers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers ain't got no inclination as to what the fuck I be carrying sometimes. You know, because everybody want me to help, help them dissect theirs. So it's like, well, damn, who gonna help me dissect mine after I done helped everybody? So that is why I'm saying, okay... I know a lot of y'all, you know, uh, you know, really have some genuine feelings for me. Pray for your motherfucking partner. Please do, please do, please do. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be of strength for everybody else. And I'm watering myself down. I'm dampering myself down. I'm taking the grunt of so many different things. I'm taking battle scars and verbal, you know, I know y'all don't mean to talk, to say certain things or whatever because y'all going through y'all own, y'all own things. And sometimes you don't want to hear the truth or the way my delivery on certain things, but sometimes I do got to tell you the truth if I'm your friend. You know, I cannot, I cannot stand in no lie with you. I'm going to have to tell you the truth. But then me telling you the truth, and then you want to come and just hit me with all kind of shit? Okay, whole nother situation, real shit. Oh, shit. I'm saying too much. I'm just wow. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to help, but I I'm getting burnt out in the process. Okay, I still got my own shit to deal with. I got a daughter getting ready to graduate. She got the prom coming up. I got this going on. This past week I had to um, go to orientation with my baby, so he's starting work. Y'all, all three of mine is working. Ain't that some cool shit? I got. Three motherfucking kids working. And in a minute, I'm just going to have one motherfucking dependent. How about that? One dependent? Nigga, I'm cool. You understand what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm cool. And with that, let me say this, because I know this is a little bit personal, but I want to say this anyway. So let me just put put this motherfucking shit in uh, quotes right quick, in the quote part of the video, okay? Whatever you say... It has nothing to do with me. It's all about you. So y'all just let me let me have this little moment right quick because they know who I'm talking to when I say this right quick. So I already know that right quick, this is what they call the quotes. Like if like if you're writing a paragraph and you got just this side note that you just want to say right quick, let me just go ahead on and say the side note right quick and I'm going to keep it pushing after that. Okay, so quote. I mean, uh, yeah, quote. Um, you can say whatever you want to say, but I'm going to tell you right now, everything that, that, that you say is basically, is not so much, I understand it is not what you mean because you're going through so many different things and I recognize what you're going through and I know a lot of it, it is not you, but also, um, you was wrong. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say about that. You was wrong. That was some bullshit straight the fuck up. 
Okay, that was wrong, and I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it right there. You know what I mean? It has a lot to do with you, not of anybody else. It has a lot to do with you, and it's you, straight up. It's straight up. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. It's you. So now back on close the quote, and then now let's just go on back to something else. But girls, when I tell you that you know living in silence will take a toll on your motherfucking ass. On some real shit, you begin to lose so much of yourself, you know. And I have been living in so much silence for the past few years. And it's like, man, how come I haven't just stepped all the way out? You know what I mean? It's like I'll step out, just like I'll I'll tip my toe out. And then um, I, I, I go back in the shell. I tip my toe out, and then I go back in the shell. Almost like my confidence is not that strong in that arena. But I've also come to realize is it has, what do you say? They don't want you to be grand. They don't want you to be this. So then therefore, let's talk down on you and let's make you feel like you're this and you're still not enough and you still need to work on this and you still need to work on that and that ain't right and that ain't this and that ain't that. You ain't there yet and you ain't this and you ain't that and you ain't this, you ain't this. Because they know that I am that. And the thing is, once, if, if you continue, well, what, what's, the, what's the words I'm trying to gather? I know I'm all over the place because I'm saying some shit now. That's, that's some, but I'm just saying what the fuck I feel, Okay. I have not stepped all the way into the light. I've been dampening myself down because um, I have had people in my life to try to put keep me that way. You know what I mean? And I'm just now starting to realize it. I'm just now. Oh no, you don't need to do nothing. You don't. You, nah, 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 nah. Nah, that don't look right. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do this. Nah, why are you trying to do all that? Why are you doing? Oh my God, family. Listen, for the past few years, I've had characters in my life, no names to be given. Okay, that has said and done some real crazy, foul and wild, foul and wild ass shit. And what? But but uh, once again. Like in this video that I'm posting, y'all gonna see this video, or uh, probably done seen it now already, um, that I was, uh, the video right before this, and I was talking in the car and all that kind of stuff, and I was still talking in generals and stuff, you know, because I know a lot of, you know, key players and a lot of things, so I'm talking to, uh, like with an umbrella um, over a lot of scenarios and things that's going on in my reality right now. Not just with my life, but with the lives of a lot of different nearest and dearest. So I'm bearing the burdens of a whole bunch of motherfuckers right now. When I tell you motherfuckers need to be putting one up sometime, because it's like, man, when my motherfucking phone ring or somebody come, you know, I want to have, let's go have lunch or whatever or less whatever, then therefore it's like, man, I'm just sitting there and I'm just totally drained the fuck out. You know, it's like, nigga, not only am I, uh, you know, sitting there, like, you know, I'm wearing the hat of Dr. Phil, Oprah. What's that woman that used to come on Montel? What's her name with the nails and shit and always picking at her teeth and she, had, she was clairvoyant? That woman? Yeah, I'm sitting there. I got that going. I got so many different things going all while I'm having these exchanges with so many different people. Really. Real shit. And I'm just burnt the fuck out. I am burnt. The, I am literally burnt the fuck out. Okay? Bitches need, uh, in need of a makeover. I want to have a makeover so motherfucking bad. You know, I'm ready to step out. I'm ready to go ahead on. I'm tired of motherfuckers. You know, don't wear that. Don't wear that. Don't wear that. Why? Because y'all motherfuckers don't really want to see what I'm really working with nowadays. Or you don't want nobody else to really see what I'm working with nowadays. You know, because I've been really talked down. Oh, don't wear that. You don't need to do that. Don't do this. You don't need to do that. Why are you doing this? This, this, this. Man, for the past few years, I've had motherfuckers in my path. Okay? That's been straight tripping. And it has, to a degree, I feel like I've been shackled down. You know, not truly um, standing in my full light. Because it's almost like if she see that she has made it and if she really see 
that she has conquered or if she really see that all those things that she was trying to do, she did it. When she really see it, oh my God, it's going to be this. And it's like some motherfuckers been trying to suppress me. You understand what I'm saying? It's okay that I've been walking around looking crazy like this. It's okay that, you know, my makeup and this and this and this is twisted up. It's okay that because and therefore if I really, you know, fillet it all out regularly, not part-time. Because it's part-time and my shit still is wickety whack. You know what I'm saying? My shit is still mediocre. Even when I call myself trying to really hook my shit up, my shit is still mediocre. Why? Because motherfuckers don't really want me to uh, go out there and really do it on that type of level. They don't want that from me. Because then therefore, I'm going to fuck some shit up. I really, I really believe that.